guys, it's Jessica, and today we are gonna pack together. I have packed up for a one-week trip to Walt Disney World. We go a few times a year, so I kind of have narrowed down what I actually use when I go. But we also travel a lot to other parts of the world. So before I had a baby this year, I packed so much less. Um, but today I'm only gonna be sharing with you what I'm packing for myself. If I were to share what I pack for Gigi, that's like a whole different video because it's a totally different beast. So if you'd be interested in me doing a future video of packing for like if you have a baby or a kid, let me know, I would love to do that. Um, but today we're just gonna focus on me, me. So I've got the makeup that I'm bringing on this trip. I've got the clothing, toiletries, everything. I have a lot of links to share with you guys of the actual like bags and things that I'm using, packing cubes, things like that. So if you are wondering where I got something, definitely check the description box before you ask. I'm gonna link everything that I can find below. To start with, before I show you what's actually in these and how I pack and kind of my tips, this is a uh, hard-sided spinner suitcase from Calpac. They don't sell this exact one anymore. I bought mine on Hot Look for like 50% off. I have my link for Hot Look down below. Um, but Calpac makes like this exact same kind of suitcase in a million different colors and it's like the pretty much the exact same style. I love the light color. It definitely gets a little bit dirty when you um, check it, but it's nothing crazy. And I've bought like pieces of luggage that were like even more expensive than this and this is actually nicer than those. So go figure. I still think this is a pricey suitcase, but it's not as pricey as what else is out there. So love this. And then this bag here that I'm using for my carry-on, this is actually from Amazon. I just got it in the mail today, so I'm trying it out. It was like 35 bucks. They have a bunch of different uh, patterns. I have an Amazon storefront where I have like all of, if you click on the link, it shows you all of like my favorite things that I've ever bought on Amazon. I've got it organized by like travel, beauty, fashion, like all kitchen favorites. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out my link below. Otherwise, let's get into what I packed this time around. So let's start with my bag. Now I am gonna be checking this bag. This is actually a size that you can carry on and I've definitely carried this on before, but for this trip for Disney, I bring like ears that I wear. I bring, you know, things like that that I wouldn't necessarily be bringing on a normal trip. So. If you're curious about how I would pack for like a Europe trip with carry-ons, I have done a video on that I will link below. But for this, it is Disney, so it does have some kind of special items that I'm bringing that I don't bring on normal trips. I feel like this isn't as pretty as like other people's packing videos, but here we go. Oh, and one thing already fell out. So one thing that I actually am bringing on this trip is my hair dryer because you'll see in a bit, I'm bringing my diffuser because of my like curlyish, wavyish hair. No resort that we've ever gone to has like that kind of a diffuser. So I've just given in and I'm just gonna bring it even though it's ginormous. And I've got my hairbrush and my curling wand here. It's a little awkward, but it kind of works. So starting on this side, um, like I said, it's not as pretty as I think it could be. But uh, over here, I've got my rain jacket. This one is from the North Face. I think I also got this one 50% off on Hotlook. Um, it's slightly packable, but in Disney, especially right now, I'm looking at the forecast and it is supposed to rain quite a bit in Orlando, Florida. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing this uh, with me. So I just kind of folded it awkwardly and stuffed it. And then I've got my diffuser attachment that goes with that hair dryer there. And then this is actually the makeup and stuff I'm bringing. I'll go through this here towards the end. So if you're interested in that, uh, just stay tuned. I'll do that towards the end of this video, but this actual makeup bag I got at Target and it's called a tri-level one and it's really cool. Like I said, I'll show you in a bit. Um, and then this might seem like overkill to some, but I'm bringing this. It's like a turby twist kind of a thing. It's a hair towel. And for me, I know it seems like overkill, but I'm so used to using one of these when I get ready and it's so easy for me to wrap. I have really long hair. And so I feel like when I wrap my hair in a hotel towel, it's just so heavy and it like literally, I can't leave it on while I'm getting ready. And I like to leave this on while I'm getting ready. So I'm just bringing my own. I've kind of started doing that a few years ago and it actually, I just love it. I love having it there. All right, so here comes the exciting part. This is, I bought a set of packing cubes. These are like these really pretty, very lightweight, 
beige ones. And it came in a pack of like, I wanna say six or eight cubes, maybe like six, different sizes. It was really, really cheap on Amazon. So I'll definitely have this in my Amazon storefront. But in here, I have kind of a smorgasbord of things. So first and foremost, I have my ears that I'm bringing. So first thing I'm bringing, I always bring this hat that I bought in Disney. I love it because the ears actually stay up and when it's a rainy day, this is nice because I'm not really as concerned about my hair getting all wet and crazy because I'm wearing a hat anyway and it's just cute. So I love this. It looks like I need to clean it a bit. Um, and then these are the ears I'm bringing. This one I bought on my last trip to Disney a few months ago. Um, I figure I'll wear it kind of an animal kingdom. This one I bought, well, probably over a year ago now uh, in Disney. I love it. It matches so many outfits that I'm bringing. And then this one was sent to me. It's just this gorgeous like teal and gold color. It makes me think of like Jasmine and Aladdin, which is how my husband and I met. Um, and it's just so pretty. So those are the three I'm bringing this time. I'm going all glitter, but I had like 10 other Mickey ears I was going through that I decided not to bring. So now this is kind of a boring zone, but this is the way I decided to pack everything except for my shirts, which you'll see in a second. So this includes pajama top, workout pants, a workout shirt, just one outfit, my swimsuit and swimsuit cover up. And then I've got one pair of pajama bottoms. I'm only bringing one set of pajamas because we have a washer and dryer in the unit we're staying in. And um, it's just, I, I figure I can just wash it and it's so much less to pack. And then I've got some leggings that I'm bringing with me to Disney, a pair of jeans, and then I have two pairs of jean shorts because it will be warm during the day for sure. Um, so that's it. And for bottoms, what I've realized when I pack is that rolling them and or like folding them in like a vertical way really doesn't help me save much space. So I've just decided for those, they're just going to kind of lay folded regularly. And then these are kind of folded in that Marie Kondo way. Um, basically the way she recommends folding. Okay. This is my version of it. Let me just say that is basically fold it in half. And then what I do from here is she usually will fold it in thirds. I fold it in half again, and then from there fold it in half. Because then again, it's the same idea where you can fold it vertically, you can fit so much more, um, and it's just a little bit more organized. You can quickly and easily pull something out of there if you want to be able to access something without unpacking your entire suitcase. So let me pack this back up. And by the way, this part of the suitcase is actually for shoes. Um, you can slide your shoes in there. I don't just because I feel like the shoes flop out of it just as badly as like this does. So, and I've got a little holder for shoes that I use for packing. So this side's a little bit more um, seemingly organized. Um, I've got one packing cube here with all of my tops. I'll show you in a second. I've got my toiletries. And then I also have a few other um, kind of miscellaneous items that I'll be showing you. So let's just go ahead and start with these. This was actually sent to me with something I'm bringing uh, from Etsy. So it's so cute. It's like the Beauty and the Beast stained glass kind of a thing. But inside of here, I actually have my magic band. So I'm bringing quite a few. I also have my light pink one that I actually purchased because uh, you can't get it through the resorts for free. You have to actually pay for that one. Uh, that one I'll show you in a second because it's in my carry-on, but I'm bringing these three colors to go with my outfits. And then I have these little things that were sent to me as well from a lovely subscriber, and I will link them below, of course. But they're magic band, like little things you can basically slide onto it. So they stay on because of the elastic and they're so cute. I've tried those bandits that you stick through the holes that you can buy in Disney and they have, I have literally lost every single one that I've ever bought because they just come off. So these I'm so excited to have to kind of accessorize my magic bands. They're so cute. My favorite one I have on that light pink one you'll see in a minute. Then in here, I don't remember where in the world I got this really cute bag. I want to say one of you guys sent it to me, but I actually have my quarters and pennies for doing pressed pennies in Disney. We do collect them. It's such a cheap uh, little souvenir from there. It's 51 cents and you can buy little books to keep your pressed pennies in. We have a couple and you can get them all over the place. So it's a fun thing if you have young kids or if you yourself just want them. It's fun. They have ride press pennies, resort press pennies, areas of the land, you know, like fantasy land, etc. It's just amazing. So uh, we love doing that. I always bring those, but I do recommend checking if you're bringing something like this, checking it because they have always stopped me. Anytime I've carried this on, they always stop and have to search my bag because it is weird to have that much change all together. It must like, you know, raise some red flags to them. So 
Um, this is my toiletries bag. I'm going to show you all of my toiletries in a second, but let me show you these shirts first. So this is yet another one of those packing cubes from there. And in here, I have all the shirts I'm bringing. So I have a gray cardigan I always bring with me because actually I'm bringing a gray and a white one. I buy these at Target. They're just comfortable. They're fitted, but I leave them unbuttoned, but they're so cute over any shirts that I bring, you know, gray or white will match all of them in some capacity. And because it does get a little bit chillier at night in Florida in February when we're going, I love having these. It's also nice to have in your day bag if you are, you know, if you get cold when you go into air conditioning, even if you're going in the summer, I get freezing when we go in restaurants. So I love having a really thin cardigan with me to just toss on. It doesn't take up a ton of room. I have a few shirts here that are a little bit dressier, one, two, three, because we are going to a few nicer restaurants in the evenings. Uh, the reality is in Disney, because it is a theme park, you could wear any of your t-shirts. You'll look around and see a lot of people wearing t-shirts and shorts. It's not that big of a deal, but for us, when we have the time to go back and kind of freshen up before we go out for the evening, if I know it's a slightly nicer dinner, even though I might be wearing darker jeans, I like to throw on a nicer top. So got those. I've got a few undershirts. I have this really cute shirt I got from box lunch that's a long sleeve tee that says 101 Dalmatians. It's so cute. Like I said, I'll see if I can find links for these shirts down below. So then I have a an Animal Kingdom shirt here that I got. I figure I'll just show you all of these because I know some of you want to see. Bring in this Disney, Disney's Animal Kingdom shirt. It's kind of cheesy, but I kind of love it for that reason. I figure I'll wear it with some jean shorts. It'll look cute during the daytime and it'll look really cute with those uh, ears I'm bringing, those like kind of animal print ears. And then I have this shirt that I've worn to Disney at least the last time we went. I bought this on Etsy. It just says Walt Disney. It looks like the old school intro to like the VHS movies. I love this so much. And then this one I got at that box lunch store and it's got uh, Pua and Hey Hey from Moana and it's this really pretty green. I love it. It's a little bit looser, which I also love. It'll look great with leggings. And again, this folding technique is so nice because I can pull out a shirt and the rest of it doesn't all crumble. So if you're one person that you don't like to unpack, this is a great solution for that. For me, I like to unpack and hang my shirts up and put them in the drawers. But if I'm only there for a day or two, obviously that would be different. Uh, this was from Uniqlo. Now, Uniqlo is a store at Disney that is at Disney Springs. It's really inexpensive. Like this shirt was like 10 bucks. Whereas if you're buying a t-shirt from an actual Disney store there at the parks, it's like... 30 to 40 to $50 a shirt, depending on what kind of shirt you're getting. So Uniqlo has insane deals. Uh, and actually I think this shirt that I got here was on clearance, which is why it was even cheaper. This is one that I got from the shop Madison and Mallory online. And it is so cute. I love the color. It says wake up, park hop, dream, repeat. And it's got the castle. I love it. It's a little bit more fitted. It's one of those canvas shirts and I have it in the, sh uh, the size small. Um, I actually kind of wish I'd gotten this in a size medium because I like them to be a little bit more uh, loose because <laughs> I'm losing weight after having a baby. <laughs> uh, this one's actually a little bit more fitted too. And what's crazy is this I bought in Disney Springs at one of the like kind of trendy Disney stores they have there. And it's a large, but I'm telling you it fits like a small. I was, I tried it on and I thought, you've got to be kidding me. Like, how is this a large? So I don't know what in the world they're si what's going on with their sizing. But I love what it says. It says, I speak Phoenician, which is like from Spaceship Earth, my favorite thing at Epcot. Okay, one of my favorite things, but it's pretty high up there. Tyler always makes fun of me because he's like, it's kind of boring. I'm like, I don't care. I just, I can't explain why I love it. Um, and then this I got at Uniqlo as well. So it was like 10 or 15 bucks. And it's just got Peter Pan on it. And it's got Wendy and Michael Darling and John Darling. I thought that was so, so cute. And on the back, it has a little tink. Isn't that adorable? And these are a little bit more of boxy shirts, these Uniqlo ones. But again, I kind of like that it's looser. It looks really cute with leggings. This I got at that store, Box Lunch. And it's a plain shirt. It has Dumbo flying into this cute little seersucker pocket. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, so cute. And then I've just got another undershirt there. And like I said, those dressy shirts. So that's everything. I am bringing a uh, kind of more of a sweatshirt, but I'll be wearing it. And that's one tip. If you're packing a bigger hoodie or sweatshirt, if you can manage to wear it as you're flying or driving there, whatever, 
it's just one less thing that's gonna take up room in your luggage. So that's one recommendation I have. Like I'm wearing my biggest shoes I'm bringing, which are tennis shoes. Anything you can wear that is that takes up more room is gonna mean there's extra room in your luggage. So before I show you my makeup and what's in my carry-on bag here, I figure I will go make some dinner. I'm really hungry. Tyler just got back with Gigi and they're hungry too. So we're gonna take a pause. I'm gonna show you what I'm cooking for dinner and then we'll pop back and I'll show you the makeup and what's in my carry-on bag. Oh, who's Look that baby? That. You got my hair. Who did that happy baby? Who's that? She said, I'm so tired. Hi, honey. Um, Hi. Are you ready to go sleep? I'm sure daddy will read Goodnight Moon. Mm, yes, of course. Sleepy. She was rubbing her eyes yeah. hard. Yeah, she's <laughs> Even in the bath, so she's like, I'm, I'm done. She had quite an eventful day with her Nana, so she is very tired. Yes. You Good night, sweet. sweetie pie. All right. So I'm gonna make some dinner. Tonight I'm gonna use a HelloFresh recipe. This video is actually sponsored by HelloFresh. I am gonna be working with them throughout the year actually and I'm really excited. So you guys know I've been using HelloFresh for probably about half a year now. I really, really like it. Both Tyler and I love to cook, but we also have a child and we need any time saving tip we can get. And this is one that it not only saves us time, but it also takes the guesswork out of cooking dinner. We know that we've got three solid recipes for the week ready to go. And a lot of times it just kind of gets us out of our rut of the recipes we love to make, but sometimes we get a little bit tired of. It's forcing us to try some new recipes we've never done. So tonight we are making heirloom tomato flatbreads. It's got Got pesto, fresh mozzarella, it's got balsamic greens. It looks absolutely delicious and it is a really quick and easy recipe for tonight, which is perfect because I kind of want to make dinner really quickly so that I can get back to finishing packing, showing you guys what I packed, etc. So if you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a meal delivery service. It's delivered fresh to your door and it saves you time on meal planning. It saves you time on grocery shopping. They give you the recipe cards. The recipes are so easy to follow. They give you pictures to follow along with, which I love. And a lot of times the recipes are literally under 30 minutes. So it's really, really quick. You can choose between the classic, the veggie and the family. We always choose the classic. I love it because the ingredients are really fresh. You know what you're putting into your body because you know what you're cooking with. And not only that, but again, it's just, easy and you always end up with this meal that you look at on your plate and you're like wow like I made that <laughs> it's pretty impressive and I love it too because you get the exact ingredients you need there's no waste the nice thing is that HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving so you can get the most meal for your money you can get eight free meals which is two free meals in your first four boxes by just going to hellofresh.com and using my code jessicabron80 for a total of $80 off. This is a special offer for 2019, so if you're interested, this is definitely a time to give it a try, see if you like it. I love it, Tyler loves it. So this food is smelling amazing. This meal in particular was so easy to make, so I am really pumped to give this a try. Here's the moment of truth. <laughs> it smells, um, doesn't it smell oh amazing, gosh. Tyler? Yeah, coming downstairs, it yeah. smells so and good. And it, oh, it was so unbelievably fast, but I've already said that, okay. Tastes like a pizzeria. But it's just that slightly bit healthier, you know? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, the pesto and the mozzarella together is, oh my gosh, <laughs> you're gonna die, Tyler. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> also, wait, there's new, uh, uh, new Bob's Burgers, so we're gonna we're watch We're gonna that. watch that. This is uh. the night of all nights, and then I gotta go finish filming. <laughs> Okay, so next up, we are gonna show what toiletries I'm bringing. And actually, I laughed when I knew I was filming this because I was like, okay, what uh, bag do I want for toiletries? And I laughed when I grabbed this one because I was like, it's so good because it's such a great size and you can hang it. But every YouTuber I've watched recently do a like pack your makeup with me, use this bag because Pixie sent like PR in this. But it's such a good bag, so <laughs> I'm not trying to advertise for Pixie, but darn it, it's such a cute bag. I don't know if they sell this on their own. If I can find it, I will link it. I hope they do because it's really cute and it's getting a lot of uh, traction these days. So let's talk about what I'm bringing. I'm bringing deodorant, and I was so excited to see that Dove is now selling like 0% aluminum. Um, cause that's the kind of questionable ingredient in a lot of regular deodorants. So I thought that was cool. This is just a deodorant. It's not an anti-perspirant, so it's not going to stop your sweat, but it'll help your smell, which is the thing I care about the most. So bringing that to try out, I'm bringing two of these of my favorite, uh, hairspray. It's the bedhead masterpiece, but I'm bringing two cause they're both like half empty. I'm like, darn it. So they probably won't come home with me cause I will definitely use them up, 
but I knew that half of it would not be enough for a week. I needed both, so those are both coming with me. I'm bringing some Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I really, really like this dry shampoo. This is new to me from Shea Moisture, their Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Again, it helps with my kind of waves, and I love this Shea Moisture brand, so I've only used this like once or twice, but I did like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this travel size. My favorite moisturizer right now, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. They sell it in this smaller size, and I love this, so I'm bringing that to wash my face. Bringing some Clear Care Contact Solution, a nail file down there. And then up here, I'm bringing a little, like a bow, kind of like what I'm wearing in my hair, but a bow to get ready with slash do my skincare with. Um, and then the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for body lotion. Um, I'm bringing, this is a little bit overkill. I, I will admit this first, but it's the L'Occitane uh, Almond Shower Oil. And the reason I'm bringing this is because my skin gets so dry when we are in Disney resorts. I think they're water. I don't know if it's hard water. I don't know. But I feel like my skin is incredibly dry when we are there, no matter the time of year. So I figure pairing the shower oil with this moisturizing cream, it'll help my skin a lot. Bring in this uh, Bumble and Bumble hairdresser's invisible oil. It's like half gone, but I figure I'll bring it, use it up in my, uh, like if I air dry my hair, that is amazing. Some toothpaste. I'm bringing this little whey treatment mask for my hair because, again, my hair also gets really dry while we're there. This I was excited to share with you guys. This is from Target, and it's the Good Chemistry Sugarberry Perfume. And it's you can smell all of their different like good chemistry smells, but it's a little rollerball and it smells like Main Street, like sweets, baked goods, vanilla. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So that's going to be like my new travel perfume. I want to put it on right now. I'm really ridiculous and I draw it on in a heart. Oh, it smells so good. I'm bringing a toner. This is the Pixie Rose Tonic. It's a little bit more like nourishing. I'm bringing a contact case that goes with that clear care. And then I'm bringing a little bit of overkill of skincare, but again, because my skin gets so dry while we're there, I'm like, whatever, I'm just bringing it all. It doesn't take up a lot of room. So I'm bringing the Belief Hungarian Water Essence. I like that. I've traveled with that a lot lately. Bringing the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Uh, again, I'll only use that like two or three nights while we're there, but it's great at kind of a chemical exfoliant. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye I'm trying out. This is the Belief Moisturizing, uh, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. So that'll be my kind of moisturizer while we're there. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean, I think it's called. Yeah, it's a makeup remover. And then this is the Ulla Henriksen Truth Serum. Then in here, I've got, uh, oh, cotton pads for that little toner I'm bringing. This is not usually something I bring, but again, I've been really liking toner lately. Bringing some extra contacts in case I ruin mine, whatever. And then this little tiny bag that a student got me when they were traveling. Um, I've just got hair ties, some bobby pins, and then this really cute like pearly pin that I've been wearing in my hair lately. So that's about all I need for my hair. So I'm just bringing that. I used to bring a lot more for hair and I'm like, I'm not wearing it. Like, why am I bringing all this? So those are all of my toiletries again. Okay, so my carry-on bag. Let's talk about that and then we'll do the makeup. So um, in here, first and foremost, like I said, this bag is from Amazon. It was like 35 bucks. It seems pretty well made. There are a few like uh, interesting things like with, where did I see it? On the like fake leather portion. But nothing that's like super obvious that I feel like, oh, like I wouldn't recommend it. Because for 35 bucks, it's a nice bag, you guys. I mean, it's canvas. It's larger than my other carry-on bag, but it's not so big that it's uncomfortable to carry. So I've got this uh, laptop case. I'm planning on editing video while we're there in the evening. Since we do have a baby, uh, she's going to be, you know, going to bed around 7.30 or 8 at night, depending so knowing that we know we'll have some nice downtime in the evening to unwind we could get some editing done so i'm bringing my laptop but this case is also from amazon and it is incredibly nice it's got a zipper pocket here if you wanted to put your charger it's got a zipper pocket here it also has not a zipper pocket but just a flat pocket here in the back and i thought that's so nice i could put the charger in one i could put my kindle in another you know there's so much if you had an ipad you wanted to fit there's a lot you could fit in here and it's really well made and really pretty they had a few colors as well but i just liked the gray in here i also have a few things that i just couldn't fit in my other luggage so i have my undergarments this is a part of the set of packing cubes that i got 
All of my undergarments are in here. Like I said, we're gonna be doing laundry about halfway through the week. So I know that like, for example, I only bought four pairs of socks cause I know that I could just wash socks and have them for the other half of the week. So I also have this little like first aid thing, Advil, Aleve, just different things, low dose aspirin, some cold medicine. I've got band-aids in the back. Uh, so just things like that. I also have this clear bag that I only have a few things in because this is my carry-on bag. I like to bring this. I don't, I bought this on Amazon. I'm not sure that this exact one is sold, but I can link one that's similar online. Uh, I just have some hand sanitizer, some hand cream, Neosporin if we need it, some eye drops, a contact case with some solution in it if I need it. Um, my eyes get really dry, um, so I also have my glasses, but I've got plenty of room. If I think of something else that needs to fit in here, I can. And of course, once I pack for my daughter, I might have some more things to put in here. So. That is nice. I've got my Kindle in here for reading on the plane and at night. This is a bag, I don't know where I got it, but in here I've got my chargers, my headphones. I have this brick that I got on Amazon from Anchor that has two USB so I can charge my Kindle, I can charge my uh, phone. It's about all I would need while I'm gone, you know? Um, so that's nice to kind of have all of that corralled together in a bag. Um, I've got my glasses here. I have my shoes. Okay, so I am only bringing tennis shoes that I'm wearing on the plane, but then in this other part of this uh, packing cube, this is made for shoes, I have thick slipper socks that I, I always bring something like this with me when I travel, because when you walk around a hotel room, I don't like walking barefoot, and at night I don't necessarily want to keep wearing the socks I was wearing all day, so it's nice to have something like this. I'm bringing some black flats and some black sandals for like if we go to the pool or the hot tub. And then otherwise, pretty much every day, I'll just be wearing the tennis shoes that I'll be wearing on the plane. What I like about this bag is it has this like extra part here that will slide onto your handle for your roller bag, which is really nice because it just holds onto it. You don't have to carry it if you don't want to. And it also has this extra zipper pouch if you want to keep things close to your person, like your phone or your wallet, whatever. Um, and then in here, I've got some tissues. And then I also have the one magic band I'll be wearing. Don't forget if you're going to Disney to have your magic band in your carry-on or on your person, whatever, because you need it if you're doing the Magical Express, you need it when you get into the park. So if you're waiting on your bags because they're bringing them to your room, it could be hours. So you want this with you ahead of time. So I either wear it or I put it in my carry-on bag. I'll probably put my daughter Gigi's little magic band in here too. She doesn't really need it, she's a baby. I'm also bringing my wallet, of course. This is from a lovely subscription subscriber sent this unbelievably nice Kate Spade wallet. It's got Minnie Mouse on it. I love it. So that I'm definitely bringing, obviously. I've got my sunglasses in here as well in the side pocket. So the reason like my shoes are in here is because these are really light and I figure putting these in my carry-on versus like carrying my entire toiletries bag or something else that would fit in my carry-on. I did a little swap so that this was lighter because I figured these two things are lighter than me trying to bring my makeup with me or my toiletries with me. Um, it just made more sense because it is lighter. So that's one tip I have to you. If you end up putting a lot in your carry-on you're like, geez, this is heavy, look at what you have in there and look at what you have in your checked bag and see if there's anything you can swap so that this carry-on bag will be lighter. And for me, the shoes and the undergarments were way lighter and they take up about the same amount of room so I just kind of swapped. That is everything in my carry-on. The only thing I don't have in here would be things like my toothbrush, my razor, things that I'm definitely gonna be using in the meantime. We we actually won't be leaving for this trip for two days on the day I'm filming this, so it'll be a while. So that's why there might be a few things you didn't see that will actually be in there when we actually leave. Let's talk about the makeup I'm bringing. So like I said, this bag is from Target. It's this tri-level organizer from Sonia Kashuk. I know they had a few different designs, um, and I know some of you guys said you found it on Clarence, so I don't know if they still sell it, but I loved this for travel. So what I love about it is the top one is for brushes and it also has this pouch so i usually bring my own washcloth for like wiping my brushes off on i don't like to ruin hotel little washcloths with my makeup so i always bring one um, and i wash it halfway through with our laundry what i like about this is it's just one giant pouch for your brushes the ones that have compartmentalized things i struggle because some of the brushes i own especially real techniques brushes get wider at the base so it's hard to fit your brushes in there but with this i can just grab them toss them in there pull them out 
Um, so let me quickly go through. I have a lot of Sephora Pro brushes. I really like this kind of brush. So I have this powder one, the number 55. I have this one I love for concealer, the number 56. I have this Sephora number 57 I use for eye primer. Um, I have this one I've been using for bronzer. It's the number 60. And then this eye brush from Sephora, the number 18, I use for eyeshadow. I also have a couple of Smith brushes, the Smith number 232 and the Smith number 230 I like for blending eyeshadow. I have this Milani highlighting brush, or I'm sorry, they call it their all over blending I use for highlight. I have this e.l.f. brush here that I love for my brow bone. I have a couple Delium Tools ones. It's their Golden Triangle, number 542, their Bold Lip. I actually use this for eyeshadow, like uh, especially glittery kind of eyeshadow. And this one there, number 777 eyeshadow. I have the Real Techniques brush. I use this for setting the under eye. I need to clean all of these before we go. Like I said, we have a couple days, so I'll probably clean them. Um, I have this Urban Decay Essential Eye Tool for brushing through my lashes and my brows. I have this Alamar Cosmetics brush. It was in a set. I use it for lining my eye. And then this ColourPop E3 brush I also use for like uh, glittery shadows and inner corner stuff. So those are the brushes I am bringing. Like I said, I'll probably clean them before we go because they desperately need it. And then they'll be kind of fresh before this trip because they're just going to get dirtier. So if you'd be interested in me doing a... <laughs> Hi there. If you'd be interested in me doing like a get ready with me in our Disney resort, I would love to do that. Why can I not get low enough to get in this frame? This is crazy. I would love to do like a get ready with me in the Disney thing. So give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see that. Let me know. All right, my legs are starting to hurt. Let's rock through this Latin part. So this, I love this because again, they have a thin layer in the middle. I like to put powders in here because it kind of protects them from like if there's any impact, it's kind of protected. So I have a powder puff I got on Amazon, an eyelash curler, uh, some tweezers. Um, I'm bringing this pixie highlight for like at night. I feel like this is a little harsh during the day, but at night I really like it when we go to dinner. Um, it's the Glowy Gossamer Duo and Delicate, <laughs> what? Glowy Gossamer Duo and Delicate Dew. Um, so definitely bringing that. I'm bringing my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in number one for setting my under eye. This is the eyeshadow palette I'm bringing. I struggled because I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring this or my little personal perfect palette I made, but I literally held them side by side and I'm like, literally, this is my perfect palette plus more options. So I thought it just makes sense to bring this for this trip. Um, it's got a matte black. It's got a bunch of matte medium shadows, a bunch of pretty shimmers. It literally has everything I could ever need. So I thought I'm going to bring the Milani Soft and Sultry. It is amazing. It's like 15 to 20 bucks depending on where you get it. The only powder I'm bringing is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. I have it in the shade Light. It's a powder foundation. It's really, really high coverage. Again, if I'm touching up throughout the day, this is really easy and really wonderful. The Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer. I have it in Fair to Light. It almost doesn't look like a bronzer, I know, but it is amazing, and especially if you have fair skin, it's just a beautiful bronzer, very foolproof. The eye primer I'm bringing is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm bringing a pencil sharpener for my liner, you'll see in a minute, and the L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze in the shade As If. It's a beautiful pigment, super glittery. Again, this is so pretty to just tap over your eyelid, and that's why I'm bringing it. That's how I plan to use it. So down here, I have my sponge. I'm actually bringing a brand new L'Oreal sponge. I go through these like freaking water. Pinocchio, our dog, steals them all of the time, so I'm constantly buying new ones, but L'Oreal, that sponge is my favorite, and this holder is from Sephora. I like it because it's got holes so it can dry out. Um, and then you're not getting like the gross bacteria from the sponge all over your makeup bag. Um, so the, I'm bringing this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense Radiant Protective Veil. It has SPF of 30 and it's like a, sh not shimmery, but like an illuminating primer with SPF. It is amazing. So I really, really like this. I've been using it this week. It is still newer to me. I'm kind of breaking my cardinal rule of don't bring products you've never tried with you but I've been enjoying it so much. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna bring it. I really, really like it. I always bring the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream number 21. Well, this time I'm bringing number 21 uh, with me. It's SPF of 42 and it's just so healthy on the skin. I love it. It's got 
medium coverage and oh it's so good bringing this garnier skin active soothing facial mist i've tried this a few times and i like it again kind of going back to that cardinal rule thing but i did want to bring a giant mist that i spray on my face before i start doing my makeup so i figured this would be a good size this is the l'oreal infallible Longwear eye pencil i love this liner it looks great in the waterline great everywhere else it's so wonderful but it's the reason i'm bringing that pencil sharpener i'm bringing this makeup revolution renaissance flick liner it's a liquid liner it's amazing really inexpensive bringing the Hanalei lip treatment as my lip balm bringing this additional tiny primer it's my favorite peter thomas roth skin to die for it's kind of a mattifying primer and i put it in my t-zone I'm bringing this Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade Fussy. It is a gorgeous, like, kind of shimmery light pink, and it's so pretty. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today, although it's all worn off now that we've had dinner. But I love this, and it smells amazing. So that's probably what I'll be wearing most of the time we're there. I'm bringing the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. However, if I had my way and I had time to go to the store before we leave, I would have bought a new... L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara because that is my ultimate favorite. I love it more than anything. I really like this mascara, but I like the L'Oreal one better, but I just don't have a new one to bring and my other one's dried out. So, but I do like that one. Also bringing the Urban Decay All Nighter. I happen to have like a small version of it they sent. I really like this setting spray. It helps everything kind of mesh together. It makes your makeup last longer. Bringing this like $2.99 brow pencil, my favorite right now, the LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil I use the shade brunette I'm bringing this is the only like red lip it's this Lancome absolute lip lacquer and it's like a really pretty kind of berry red and it's in the shade number 168 this lasts all day it stays kind of glossy I mean you still reapply but it never gets weird or dry it's amazing this is like it like blows my mind I do not understand how this product works but it's so incredible I'm also bringing this highlighter, the Hourglass Vanish in Champagne Flash. It's such a pretty like thing to throw on your skin, especially during the day. It never looks weird in the sunlight, which is huge to me. Um, so this is what I'll be wearing every day as my highlighter. And then this is the only blush I'm bringing, the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick in Sexy Flush. This is this gorgeous cream blush. It stays on really well. I apply it with my sponge you could also do it with your fingers i was watching zabrina's video i freaking love her um she was using this and she used her fingers and it looks gorgeous i use the sponge and it looks gorgeous you can't lose it is so beautiful i was so blown away by that so i think i covered everything in here i think that's it so that's everything i'm bringing on this trip like i said there are a couple things here and there that in the next day or two i have a list on paper and that's one of my tips if you are packing ahead of time and you know there are certain things that you're gonna be using before you leave so you can't really pack them, my recommendation is have a notebook or a piece of paper or a note in your phone, type or write whatever it is that you aren't gonna pack now but you know you're gonna need. That way, if you think of anything in those few days, you can add it to that list really quickly um, or you can go ahead and pack it. But then the morning of or the day of whatever, you can you know, get ready for the day, brush your teeth for the day, whatever, and then look at your list and say, okay, let me grab these last few things, pack them, and you know that you are good to go. That's something I do literally every time I pack, because no matter what, if I pack the day before, if I'm leaving early in the morning, I have to brush my teeth. I have, you know, There's certain things you have to do that you can't necessarily pack if you don't have an extra toothbrush or whatever. If you're interested in seeing how I pack for like a European trip, I will put my link for the video I did on that down below. Um, I feel like I go through hills and valleys with how much I pack because it totally depends on the trip. You know, if I'm doing a trip where it, the weather's gonna be up and down, like we went to Ireland, I think, what, a year and a half ago. And for that trip, it was so hit or miss because it'd be warm in some spots, but it'd be cold and rainy in others. And so we had to pack like boots because we'd also be hiking. Like those kinds of trips are so hard to pare down your packing because you need so many different kinds of clothing and shoes and jackets. but. For Disney, I feel like I've kind of got it down to a science and I'm glad that I can still pack, you know, technically a carry-on size suitcase, even though I'm checking it, and a carry-on bag and I know that I've got everything I need. The only other thing I'm also gonna pack is I always bring like a crossbody small bag so then I can use that in the parks if I want. I can throw my phone, maybe a powder, a lip gloss, 
and my wallet into that bag and know that I've got kind of what I need for the day in the parks. So usually I'll take that crossbody bag and put it in my carry-on bag, which is what I'm gonna be doing. Um, because then I've got what I need. I have that purse I can take out if I need to use it throughout the week, but I don't necessarily need that out and separate for my carry-on when I'm going through the airport, if that makes sense. So, so hopefully this video was fun. It was helpful for you. I don't know. I enjoy doing these kinds of videos and I also enjoy watching them. Um, so I hope that you will subscribe if you enjoyed this. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.